Um, my name is Josh McKee, and I'm part of a show here opening tonight with Christine and Billy Mode. And uh, my work this time around is pretty much all silk screens. So I built a small silk screen shop in the first floor of the building I'm living in, and that's I've been pretty much silk screen for the past six months. So what's your work about? Um, uh, of late, it's a lot about labor and labor issues, um, and particularly, um, at least in the abstract, the, how labor has been changing in this country. And um, I was really inspired by and influenced by the sort of uprising of um, immigrant, the immigrant labor movement in the United States um, last year, and the, the big May Day protests, and the large protests in Chicago and in LA and other places, and um, I've been doing a lot of work that's been inspired and influenced by that. Uh, can you talk about Just, just Seeds? Sure. Um, just Seeds uh, was now Just Seeds Visual Resistance Artist Cooperative, and it's a group of 14 artists that are working together cooperatively to distribute uh, radical political artwork, uh, primarily over the web. And uh, we're merging with Visual Resistance, which is a New York-based um, sort of political art group and blog. And so we're going to have a store to sell uh, relatively inexpensive prints and posters and other political artworks, a blog. It's like a national and international blog about political art, printmaking, street art, um, socially engaged sort of cultural practice. Um, and then uh, also connections and links to art activism around the world, and hopefully a portfolio uh, element that has work from a number of different artists. So basically a wide web platform for um, socially engaged art. Okay. Uh, so do you have other words to say for the people who are going to come to see the show? Uh, I hope they enjoy it. And um, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks to Ad Hoc for you know multiple events you know we've been able to do here that super generous and a great space and it seems like you know building a community here that's really valuable. Okay, thank you. This particular series is uh, on the homeless, and um, I've done a, a series of images of um, homeless people in my neighborhood in Baltimore. And hopefully, people will pay attention to them. You know, at least recognize them and see them as people. And try to think about what their story is. You know, what could have happened to these people? What put them in that position to become homeless? A lot of times, people are like, "You just need to get a job." You know? Maybe it's not that simple. Okay. Is that the whole list for you? Yeah. Can you talk about your work? Talk about it? Um, I like to make work that's based on um, the life that I know um, and have known growing up. I have a strong working class background. I'm from Baltimore. I come from like a steel workers family. And um, the people in the neighborhood all had very blue collar jobs and, and all the things that go along with that kind of a lifestyle. And, um, I also like to do work that has to deal with inner city and kids because I have kids and that's a that's a big dynamic. It like changes changes things quite a bit, you know? As far as the way the work comes out, um, I'm a graffiti writer, so I like to I like spray paint and I also like to do screen printing and the screen printing the stenciling came from the screen printing not being able to afford the equipment. So the basis of screen printing is stenciling. And so since I was already into the spray paint, I just took the spray paint, cut the stencils, and just kept going, you know, in that direction. And that's how I chose that medium. Sharpener is a broken. When a sharpener is broken, he can use his name. That's 
right. When the sharpener's broken, we use my cut and my knife, my exacto knife to sharpen <laughs> her pencils for her homework.